So, yeah, this is just something, something I've been thinking about a little bit, and that is obviously you to, to, to basically decide whether you should buy a stock or not. You use or what to buy if it's a commodity or a stock or a Bitcoin, crypto, whatever. You basically there's actually everybody talks about technical analysis fundamental analysis but there's actually another thing that also determines the, the whether you should buy a stock or not which is actually the most important one and that is i think the best word to describe it is sentiment if everybody in the sort of in the in the market they buying and selling stock commodities crypto based on their own analysis so they'll use technical analysis they'll use fundamentals and then based on that it will give them sentiment the result of those two will give them sentiment to buy something whether you are a retail trader um, whether you are a professional money manager or a hedge fund or that basically that sentiment ultimately drives you to buy a certain stock and what actually drives the stock price is not actually fundamentals it's not technical analysis it's purely sentiment that's what drives stock prices that's what I'm not talking about well stock prices and let's say maybe not Bitcoin but mainly stock prices so obviously crypto to a big extent crypto commodity prices is, is a difficult one i think certain commodities maybe not maybe like gold is very sentiment driven um copper i don't think is sentiment driven copper is real like real life driven it's basically if there's demand for copper the price goes up if there's no demand for copper there's less manufacturing price goes down sentiment doesn't really play a big role in the price of copper but sentiment plays a big role in the price of gold and sentiment is basically it is obviously you can, you can i think you can divide sentiment into two sides and one is that the, the retail trader aka you and me we do sometimes not always buy based on real knowledge and logical sort of conclusions but maybe a little bit emotional driven so i mean tesla tesla is, a, is an example of a very emotional stock people that buy tesla are very emotional about it and they tell their friends and their friends tell them that they should buy tesla they just buy it because it's an emotional social thing so sentiment can be based on uh emotions for retail traders but i think if you are a money manager that sentiment isn't really based on emotions so the smart money the big money they their sentiment is based on mainly fundamental analysis um, and that drives them to decide to buy a stock or not but now here's the here's the very interesting one we you can without doing any technical technical analysis without doing any fundamental analysis if you just know what the sentiment is for retail traders and the sentiment for your big money your money managers and your hedge funds you technically will know what to buy that's all you actually need to know what to buy so because that ultimately determines the stock price so if you can somehow just find out what retail traders are going to buy what they're going to sell what the big money is going to buy and what they're going to sell you that's all the information you actually need in order to trade you don't need anything else but here's the catch this is now the twist that only works if a small percentage of all traders do that <laughs> if everybody does that it doesn't work because you technically rely on other people to do their homework 
if you if you know what their sentiment is if you know what the sentiment is of the big money then you actually rely on them to do the fundamental analysis and the technical analysis so you can do that you can actually trade purely based on sentiment it's just not everybody can do that a big portion of the traders out there still has to do fundamental analysis and technical analysis and the rest can purely trade on sentiment and they'll actually make money it'll make good money just trading on sentiment they might actually make the biggest money the people that purely trades on sentiment because sentiment is actually what is driving stock prices nothing else if a stock can have the best fundamentals out there if nobody buys the stock the stock price will not go up so the opposite is also true a company could have the worst fundamentals if everybody wants to buy that stock and is buying that stock the price will go up so the stock price is purely based on fundamentals uh, on on sentiment and it's the same with a lot of the cryptos out there not bitcoin and ethereum maybe yeah maybe not bitcoin as much because bitcoin actually gets used in the real world like let's say when the war in russia started a lot of people bought bitcoin because they needed it right now because they have to do something they have to get their money out of the country so their sentiment is not based on whether they want to buy it or not they kind of have to buy it it's a real world thing that happens the fundamentals sort of change the fundamentals forces a sale uh, it's a forced sale it's not an optional sale they they have to buy bitcoin to get their money out there was no other way so bitcoin not as much because that happens a lot where people have to buy bitcoin purely just to keep their money safe safe or to complete the con transaction or whatever but other cryptos especially the, the smaller ones obviously they're purely based on sentiment there's no real value in these crypt, crypt in these cryptos a lot of it is just based on hype and people speculating whether it's gonna it's gonna work or not they still have an option to buy it or not they can decide do i want this crypto yes or no where bitcoin or coin a lot of people are forced to they have to buy bitcoin it's the only way they get their money out of the country um so it's just an interesting thing if you do want to trade gold if you want to trade but uh, uh, smaller cryptos and if you want to trade basically all stocks and etfs and index funds you actually only need to know the sentiment you don't need anything else you can literally just trade on sentiment and if you get very accurate accurate sentiment readings you will actually never go wrong you'll know exactly when to buy it because sentiment is what drive those prices so yeah that's just a very interesting thing i thought about today on uh trying to dissect the market trying to pull it into pieces and see why people buy certain things what's the motive behind it do they buy it because they have to um do they buy it because they uh, have to get their money out of the country do they buy it because they have to use it for manufacturing uh, do they buy it because it's food and you need food um so yeah it's uh it's like the price of wheat for instance it, if it goes up it's basically means that there's sort of famine in the world <laughs> and that's why wheat goes up so it's not that it's people who want to buy it or not is they have to buy it so that's why the price goes up so yeah it's interesting to, it's just an interesting thing to think about but anyway if you like this video then remember to press the button and if you wanted to see more then remember to subscribe and this is steve till next time ciao